let's solve some problems on Maclaurin series. Hello future engineers and my dear students, welcome back to Mudasar Academy, I am Mudasar Sheikh. Today we will begin with an important topic in engineering mathematics 1 that is the Taylor's and the Maclaurin series. Okay, so but before we begin, I want to share something deeply personal. So please give me some time, don't skip. So dear friends, around a year and a half ago, I started this very journey on YouTube with you teaching engineering mathematics for video as you know. I had completed the first module, that is Polar Curse, the uh, videos you can find in the playlist. And I had just started recording the module 2, that is uh, with Taylor's and Maclaurin series, that's what we'll be doing today in today's class. It was while recording this topic, I received a message on my phone, a message that changed literally everything in my life. And frankly, it changed everything in my life. And that message was regarding my biopsy results, which I had given some four days back prior to that. And the unfortunately, the biopsy reports were tested positive. And I was diagnosed with what never I, the things. So at that very moment, I literally, I was blank. I stopped everything. I was totally blank. I stopped everything. I paused not just the recording, but my entire life. Since then, it has been a very tough time, a very tough road of treatment, pain and uncertainty. I don't know how much time I have left, a year or two, maybe more, maybe less, I don't know. But now as I begin this chapter again, I am not just teaching mathematics, I am sharing a part of my soul. My mission now is to give back everything, to give back everything what I learned over 20 plus years of my teaching to each one of you. See, it is not merely about subscription and all. Okay. See, instead, I am asking you from my heart. Please share these videos with as many students as you can. Help someone who is struggling. Help someone who can't afford coaching. Let no student suffer before examinations. See, even in pain, I promise I will keep recording because this is my purpose. So, let's begin the topic that once brought my life to a heart, but now brings it back to meaning that is Taylor's and Maclaurin series. See, I'll be discussing both the Taylor's and Maclaurin series here, but since these videos are only focused on examination point of views, if you see the question paper, you won't find the problems of Taylor's series. Problems are only given on Maclaurin series. So, in today's video, we will be solving problems only on Maclaurin series. In future, if need arises, then I will be posting videos on Taylor's series. Okay, so now, Let's understand what this Taylor's and Maclaurin series mean. So, what actually are these Taylor's and Maclaurin series? See, Taylor's series is about expansion about point x is equal to a. What? About the point x is equal to a. And the expansion is in, in powers of x minus a, x minus a the whole square, x minus a the whole cube and so on. So, I write it here. So, Taylor's series about x is equal to a. So, expansion is y of x is equal to what a means, it will be y of a plus x minus a into y1 of a plus x minus a the whole square by 2 factorial into y2 of a plus x minus a the whole cube by 3 factorial into y3 of a plus so on. It continues. Y x minus a the whole is to 4 into y 4 a and so it keeps on continuing. Okay. See the expansion is about x minus a, x minus a whole cube, x minus a whole is 3, x minus a whole is to 4, so on. This is the Taylor series. That means you are only finding here y of a, what is y1, y2, y3? They are nothing but the differentiations. dy over dx, y is the function, y1 is dy over dx, y2 is d square over dx square, so on. Okay, now coming back to Maclaurin series, which they last the problems in examination. So Maclaurin series is a very, very easy series because here in Maclaurin series, the expansion is simply about the point zero. That is, here we put a is equal to zero. 
if it is a special case of taylor series what is maclaurin series maclaurin series is a special case of taylor series where a is equal to 0 fine so i write it here now if you put a is equal to 0 here the maclaurin series is y of x is equal to y of 0 plus x into y1 of 0 plus x square by 2 factorial y2 of 0 plus x cube by 3 factorial y3 of 0 I can also write plus x h to 4 by 4 factorial y4 of 0 so on okay so if they ask about the four terms means you have to differentiate four times 5 by 4 if they ask three terms means you have to differentiate three times 5 by 3 that's it this is how this works so when the question is given they will give as I said Maclaurin series is asked mostly for the VT exams if they'll ask expand using Maclaurin series or if they give simply expand it is Maclaurin only unless an anterior point is given okay so in the question they ask expand up to four terms means differentiate four times so here you have to only find this y of 0 y 1 0 y 2 0 y 3 0 y 4 0 where y 1 y 2 y 3 nothing but differentiations d y by dx d square by dx square d cube by dx cube and so on so let's see how easy it is by solving some basic problems okay So to understand the Maclaurin series, let's start off with a very, very simple example. This question was asked once in your new 22 scheme exam paper. It's very, very easy. Let's solve this and understand how the Maclaurin series works. works. So the question is, expand e raised to x by Maclaurin series up to terms containing x to 4. See what the question tells. The question says up to x to 4 means you need to differentiate 4 times. So why 4? So first, you write the series here. So as this is a Maclaurin series, you already know Maclaurin series is about the a is equal to 0. So the series is very simple. The series will be y of x is equal to, first write it, always write the series first. y of x is equal to y of 0 plus x into y1 of 0 plus x square by 2 factorial into y2 of 0. Okay. Plus, what is the next thing? x cube by 3 factorial into y3 of 0 plus lastly x raised to 4 by 4 factorial into y4 of 0 this is the series up to x raised to 4 terms which they are asking now here we need to only find these values y0 y10 y20 y30 y4 that's it simple and this question is very very simple why because they again simply expand e raised to x. Okay, so we have y is equal to what? e raised to x. So let's start finding now. What is y of 0? y of 0 means in place of x put 0, e raised to 0. And what is e raised to 0? It's y. Next, y1 means differentiation of e raised to x. So what's the differential of e raised to x? Very simple. Differential e raised to x is e raised to x only. That's why I said it's very simple, e raised to x. Again, y1 of 0 will be the same. Repeat, e raised to 0, 1. The next, y2 is equal to. Again, differentiation of e raised to x is e raised to x only. So, y2 of 0 will be again e raised to 0, 1. Similarly, y3 is equal to e raised to x. The differentiation of e raised to x is e raised to x. So, again, we have y3 of 0 is equal to 1. And finally, y4 differentiation is again e raised to x so we have y4 of 0 is e raised to 0 1 so have all the values now y1 y2 y3 y4 so we'll form this we'll find a series as so e raised to x as Maclaurin series is written as what is y of 0 1 plus x into y1 of 0 x into 1 plus x square by 2 factorial into 1 plus x cubed by 3 factorial into 1 plus x raised to 4 by 4 factorial into 1. That's all. This is the series expansion for y is equal to e raised to x. That's the answer. I hope you understood how to solve this. Okay. It is a very, very simple question. Later, we move on to some higher questions. 
See, the next question here is an examination favorite question. This question has been asked a number of times, multiple times in the final exam question paper. And it may happen that they may ask the same question in the further upcoming exams. So practice this question perfectly. So the question is, expand y log of secant x up to the term containing x to 4 using Maclaurin series. They mentioned it here. And the term containing x to 4. So the already series is here. So y of x is equal to y of 0 plus x into y1 of 0 plus x squared by 2 factor y2 of 0 plus x cubed by 3 factor y3 of 0. And the last x is to 4 term is x is to 4 by 4 factor y4 of 0. That means we need to only find which values here y of 0, y1 0, y2 0, y3 0, y4 0. That's it. Find the values and put it here and simplify. That's it. Okay. So now let's solve this question. See carefully how I'm solving it. So we have y is equal to log of secret x. Right. Now see here. First is we need to find y of 0. y of 0. What does it mean? y of 0 means y is equal to log secant x. y of 0 means y of x in place of what? x put 0. That's it. About the, about the, because Maclaurin series is about point x a is equal to x is equal to 0. So now, so y of 0 will be log of secant 0. What is secant 0? Cos 0 is 1. So secant 0 is 1. So that will be log of 1. And obviously log of 1 is 0. That's it. Next, y1. Differentiate this. So this will be now which rule? See. Log of secant x. Composite function. So how will differentiate this once again? You need some basic formulas of differentiation, not at, you know, high class definition. See, differentiation of log of x. So, first, I show you here. First, you need to differentiate what? Log. Okay. So, what is differentiation log x? It's nothing but 1 by x. So, log secant x will be 1 by secant x. Fine. Again, next, you need to differentiate what? Secant x. This is how it works. So now what is different secant x? Differentiation of secant x is secant x into tan x. So secant secant cancels. I have y1 is equal to tan x. Now you can easily find y1 of 0 will be tan 0. What is tan 0? 0 again. Now the next one is y2. So what is y2? Differentiation of tan x is secant square x. What's that? Differentiation of tan x is secant square x. So, secant square x. Now, y2 of 0 will have a value. Why? Because in place of x put 0, we have secant square 0. Cos 0 is 1, so secant square 0 is also 1. Fine. I hope you understood till here. Now, see, I'm telling you one simple thing. So, when in the series and all, when you are differentiating multiple times, wherever, see simple, understand this, whenever you get secant square x, see why I am telling because if you differentiate the secant square again to secant x into again secant x tan x, it may become complicated. So, very simple trick I am telling, wherever there is multiple differentiation and you get secant square x, what is secant square x formula? Secant square x is 1 plus tan square x. I hope you know these three formulas. Sin square plus cos square is equal to 1. 1 plus tan square is secant square. 1 plus cos square is cosecant square. So now we have, so rewrite this y2 as 1 plus tan square x. See what happens here. What is secant square x? 1 plus tan square x. But what is tan x? It is y1. So I can again write this as is equal to 1 plus y1 square. So the differentiation becomes very, very easy now. And accurate. That means you can easily find y3 differentiate one more time as differentiation of 1 is what? 0 plus differentiation of y1 square is how much? 2y1. Again, differentiation of y1 is what? y2. Am I right? Change rule. So I have y3 is equal to 2y1, y2. So y3 of 0 will be 2 into what is y1? It's 0. What is y2? 1. So it is nothing but 0 only. 
and lastly now y4 will be equal to see you have to differentiate this 2 by 1 by 2 2 by 1 by 2 it will be product rule 2 by 1 into y2 2 by 1 one function y2 other function so what is product rule now so product rule says first function as it is 2 by 1 differentiation of y2 is y3 plus second function y2 as it is difference 2 by 1 is 2 y2 because y1 differentiate again y2 y2 is y3 so on so therefore y4 of 0 will be 2 into what is y1 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 is all the same okay 0 y3 y3 of 0 y3 is same 0 plus 2 into what is y2 y2 of 0 y2 is same it's 1 into 1 that is equal to 2 that's it so now the Maclaurin expansion of log of secant x about x is equal to 0 will be so you put all the values here y of 0 is 0 y1 of 0 is 0 0 y2 we have the value 1 so this will be what x squared by 2 factorial into 1 plus x cube by 3 factorial to y3 y3 of 0 is also 0 okay so only next value is what y4 is 2 so put it here x raised to 4 by 4 factorial into 2 so on is again i can write it as x square by 2 factorial is 2 plus x raised to 4 into 2 by what is 4 factorial 2 is 2 3 factorial is 6 4 factorial is 24 so 24 so now 2 and the 2 twelves are so that implies the expansion of log of secant x up to the four terms at x is equal to 0 is x square by 2 plus x raised to 4 by 2 twelves are 24 plus so on. This is the expansion. Since they asked in the expansion about x raised to 4, so we differentiate it and find a value of only up to y4. If they ask more, but in the VT examination, they mostly won't ask more than four terms. So please practice this perfectly. So that's all in today's video. The first video was to make you understand how the things work, how simple the macro series is. And the second question was a very, very important examination question, which you need to practice. Keep on watching the video and keep on practicing till you get perfect. It's not over it. There are a couple of more questions like e raised to sin x and root of 1 plus sin 2x which they frequently ask in the examination. So after you finish this, please watch the next video to solve those examples. Till then, keep practicing, keep sharing, do the good work. Bye.